Were you at the Heisman or you had to tap out of that to go to Oakland? Or were you at both? Did you do both? Yeah, yeah, I did both, man. It was a pretty ah. eventful weekend. So I flew out there to, to Oakland and I did the show for the for uh, the grind. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, and I shot the New York Friday night. That's it. Um, I was at the Heisman Saturday, and I shot back to Oakland on Sunday morning, man. So I could be a part of uh, be a part of that historic moment. Who'd you vote for in the Heisman? Uh, I voted for. Uh, I voted for the three guys, for the guys, that, everybody that was there, Rich. That's who I voted for. No, because are you saying that because you don't want to say, or you're not allowed to say? Are you not allowed to say? No, I'm a, no, I'm allowed to say, man. I'm, I'm just trying to have a little fun. With okay, it. but uh, no, because I, <laughs> I was about to say they gave you the trophy, man. They're not going to take it back. You know what I mean? That it's your yeah, trophy. No, nah, they, nah, they, they can't take it. They can't take it. But no, for, for me, I, um, you know, being able to see. Uh, feels in, uh, in person, like I said, I thought he was uh, impressive, um, impressive as a player that I had seen uh, that season. I went with Fields, and then I went Burrow, and uh, third was uh, Chase. Did you go Chase Young or did you go uh, uh, Jalen Hurts? I think I had Jalen Hurst. Through. I love his story, Charles. I love his story. Um, and LSU fans who are obviously euphoric right now, that's kind of like the last guy that they want to see from the days in Alabama. Uh, obviously, that's not Alabama walking through the door. It is Oklahoma. You never know. But I love his stick to I love everything about Jalen Hurts. I think he is going to knock it out of the park at the Combine, and I cannot wait to see what he has in store. I love that kid, man. Yeah, I think I've never met yeah, him, but I just I, I love it all. Watching, wa- yeah, watching him all season, and uh, you know the way he would conduct himself after games, after wins, and uh, you know just straightforward, you know business like approach, man. He never gave people what they wanted. He just, you know, stuck his nose, you know, to the grind, so to speak, man, and just kept on going forward. And uh, just like you say, man, his story, and especially with you know playing for Alabama, being a champion at Alabama, and then kind of run out of there and have to, you know, go to another school. And, and now he has another chance to take another school, you know, to a national championship, I think is, is a pretty cool story for have, sure. Have you ever talked to Peyton about beating him in the Heisman Trophy? Do you ever bring that up? Has that ever come up in conversation, Charles, with Peyton Manning and you? No, it has not. Nope. Hmm. Okay. It has not. <laughs> I don't know why it would. No, I, only, 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 I, only ha- I only have conversations back and forth with, you know, people on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's not on he's not on Twitter. I know that for sure. Uh, oh nah. man, but you did when it all comes down to it, be a professional and be somebody who is a Heisman Trophy winner who gives it to who he thinks is best and does not play any favorites or biases. You go ahead and you you voted for an Ohio State Buckeye. That's what you did, Charles. Fact? Yes, that happened. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I mean, like, like you say, I, I don't, I don't, I don't play favorites. I, I, you know, I give credit to where credit is due, Very good. and uh, you know, I, I vote for who I think is the best. You're the best. We'll chat soon, okay, man? All right, thanks, Rich. You got that's Charles Woodson here on the Rich Eisen Show. I'm pointing at the camera in my cardigan, feeling tough. So let me say this <laughs> to all you Buckeye fans out there who say Michigan and put the X over the M. One of the all-time greats in the history of Michigan sat there and said, you know what? This kid, Justin Fields, is the best player I've seen all year, and I think he is the best, and I'm voting for him. It's called Rising Above. Go Blue! For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.